Uh, I'm Bill Barminski, and I'm a co-director of an animated short that's in the U.S. Shorts program. It's called Joel Stein's Completely Unfabricated Adventures. The film is it's based on the on Joel Stein, who's a commentator. He writes for the L.A. Times. He's Time Magazine. He's you'll see him on VH1 and stuff. He he does these witty, dry commentaries, and we took one, had him read it, recorded that, and we animated it. And it's about a trip to water treatment facility in Orange County. A lot of people submit their work and go, you know, and they're worried, like, oh, I wonder if we're going to get in. We didn't submit our work, our production company did. They didn't tell us, so it was just a phone call. It was like, hey, guess what, you guys? I was like, wow, that's cool, you know, uh, that's going to be fun. I get to go skiing. So that was like, that, that was, you know, I thought would be a you know, pretty cool thing to do. In about the last year and a half, I started focusing on doing animation and video and commercial work like that. And um, I paired up with one of my ex-students, Christopher Louie, and we formed a pr production company directing team, and we go under the name Walter Robot, just, you know, because there's two of us doing it. And we just find, like, oh, that's a good moniker, just an umbrella for everything that we're doing. And I, I, it's been an interesting process for me because I am really used to being a solitary worker, work painting. You don't have people collaborating with you. So it's been a you know interesting process to have somebody to collaborate with. And I find it's good because he has certain strengths in, that I don't have or I'm not interested in, and we you know balance each other out pretty well. Sometimes, you know, if I'm you know working as an artist. I'm just like in my own world. I'm just like drawing stuff, painting. And I find a lot of times afterwards I go back to that work, my sketchbooks, and I find ideas in there that I wasn't consciously putting down, but I'll go back and look through them as almost as if I'm looking at somebody else's work. Go, hey, that's a cool idea. And then maybe we'll take that one and turn it into a short film or something like that. Um, I mean, as far as like where inspiration comes, I, I've just always been, you know, like that I've always people always think like oh you must take acid or something and it's like I it's like I don't need I would be afraid to do that because it's like I see stuff all the time that's not there so so I, I did just something that's you know always been part of my psyche did uh, one for mortified that are these sort of like spoken word pieces brought to life and we're doing stuff on the other end of the spectrum that are more you know like art pieces doing music videos did one for Narls Barkley that literally grew out of one of my sketchbooks and I took a lot of the things that I'd already drawn and placed it into a animated environment and so it, it sort of balances out in different directions there too it's like we like when we look at the all the work that Walter Robot's doing we have like kind of a range of live action stuff animation weird kind of meshes of those two and then these kind of narrative things that we're working on as well um, which I found to be very cool. It's a fully animated piece, so Chris and I and a student, Giles Timms, is working on it, and it's, they, like with a lot of these music videos, they don't give us very much time, so it's just like, we're just like, just trying to get that timeline filled, and it, it's just, I'm doing a lot of drawings, and then I'm handing these drawings off to Giles or Chris, and together we're just animating all the scenes. We have a shot list, and we're like keeping our fingers crossed that we'll, you know, get it done by the time it's supposed to be done. But, it, you know, it looks cool and it's really fulfilling because it's just like, especially with the animation like that, it's like you can imagine, and we put it into After Effects, so we're not drawing it cell by cell, we're putting it into a 3D environment. So it's sort of like, here's a chance to do something like, yeah, let's do a big crane shot. You know, if we did that in live action, you know, we couldn't afford it. So all of a sudden we're like, yeah, we'll do this one shot where we zoom out of the car, fly across the city and end up like looking at through a window of a house things that you just couldn't do in real life which is really fun you know because it's just like well we can at least do it in our own worlds here i love teaching I, it, it's to me it's like coming up to teach at ucla is like a day off for me and it 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 put, takes me out of all my other work and puts me in a different you know sort of frame of mind that Again, it, it, I really enjoy teaching students and stuff. It's just I really, you know, want to share what I have learned, you know, and I feel really honored that I get to do this, you know, so it's just a joy for me. 
I, I, th- I think I th- for people, like for my students, like one of the things I try to encourage them in is that they really c- can't rely on everybody to show them how to do everything, that they actually have to build the skill sets in themselves to teach themselves how to do stuff. Because like I'm always constantly having to learn new things because the technology is changing so fast and the tech, the things that you could do, you can do now, you couldn't do five years ago, but now you can do them. So it's like, well, do them. What is it? How, what, what can you do with these tools? So that, I mean, I think that's the thing I try to, you know, get into my students has that also like, you're not going to be in school forever. And when you're out working, it's like, you're just going to constantly have to be downloading demos of software and like, what does this do? Figure it out, you know, instead of waiting for somebody to show you how to do everything. Um, and I think that's, I mean, that's how I learned most of the stuff is just all self-taught because especially with computer technology, you know, I started at the beginning of it and there wasn't classes for it anyway. So you had to like, wow, they made this cool software. Let's figure it out. So, I mean, that's what I want my students to take away. And also just that the tools are just tools, that the main thing you bring to the tools are your, is your creativity. You know, that, that's the main thing that you have to sell is your creativity and then knowing how to make, you know, realize it.